Welcome back to this podcast and this channel family. My name is Paul. I live in Peterhead in Scotland, and I'm absolutely delighted to be here today to have a look at Yiri Mi Ayar, Chapter 7. Um, so I do hope that you managed to check out the previous podcasts. As always, we're about the glory and the honour, the splendour and the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, the finished work of Christ, the atonement, the blood, uh, justification, predestination, justification, sanctification and eternal redemption. I do hope my listeners are well. Trust everything is going okay. Um, this is the kingdom of Elohim Yahweh throughout this planet. Uh, mortals are as grasshoppers and the nations are as drops in the bucket. Um, the sovereignty of Elohim Yahovah is throughout this orb um, and all things are subject. Um, the Son of God is over the Father's house uh, and all power and authority has been given to the Son. So, friends, um, I trust that you're all staying in prayer under the blood in the spirit and obedient, faithful children of Elohim, Yehovah, uh, for the Lord God omnipotent rules. The goodliness, kingliness and lordliness of Adonai, Yahushua, Hamashiach, uh, in English, the Lord Jesus, the Moshiach, the Christ, is over all flesh. Indeed, all flesh lives through the finished work of Christ. Um, yes. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh, your Elohim, is one Elohim. And that's uh, Deuteronomy 6, 4, um, Galatians 4, 6, God is one. God is one. So I trust, friends, that you've been staying in the scriptures, staying in the truth, um, walking in the faith, um, growing, uh, receiving with meekness the engrafted word which is able to deliver your souls. Now, this is Jeremiah chapter 7 from the New King James translation. The word that came to, came to uh, Yeremiah from Yahweh, saying, Stand in the gate of Yahweh's house and proclaim there this word and say, Hear the word of Yahweh, the Devar Yahweh, the Devar Yahweh, the word of the Lord, the Vort on God, the Logos of Theos. All of you, Yahudah, who enter in at these gates to worship Yahovah. Thus says the Lord of hosts, Yahovah Sevaot, Elohim Hayasharel, amend thine ways and thine doings, and I wilt cause thee to dwelleth in this place. Do not trust in these lying birds, saying, The temple of Yahovah, the temple of Yahovah. The temple of Yahovah are these. For if you thoroughly amend thine ways and thine doings, if thou dost thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if you do not oppress the stranger, the fatherless, and the widow, and do not shed innocent blood in this place, or walk after other gods to your hurt, then I will cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. Behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will you steal, murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, burn incense to Baal? and walk after other gods whom you do not know. And then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name and say, we are delivered to do all these abominations. Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of thieves in your eyes? Behold, I, even I, hath seen it says Yahovah. But go now to my place, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, 
and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people, Israel. And now because you have done all these works, says Yahuwah, and I spoke to you rising up early and speaking, but you did not hear. And I called you, but you did not answer. Therefore, I will do to the house which is called by my name, in which you trust, and to this place which I gave it to thee and thine fathers, as I have done to Shiloh. And I will cast you out of my sight, as I have cast out all of your brothers and sisters, the whole posterity of Ephraim. Therefore, do not pray for this peoples. Don't lift up a cry or a prayer for them. Don't make intercession to me, for I will not hear you. Do you see what they do in the cities of Yavugah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead dough to make cakes for the Queen of Heaven. And they pour out drink offerings to other gods, that they may provoke me to anger. Do they provoke me to anger? Do they provoke me to anger? Says Yahovah. Do they not provoke themselves to the shame of their own faces? Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Adonai Elohim, Behold, my fury will be poured out upon this place, upon man and upon beast, on the trees of the field and on the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn and shall not be quenched. Thus says Yahuwah of armies, the Elohim Hayashirel, add your burnt offerings to your sacrifices and eat meat. For I did not speak to your fathers or command them in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt concerning burnt offerings or sacrifices. But this is what I commanded them, saying, Obey my voice, and I will be your God, and thou shalt be mine peoples. And walk in all the ways that I have commanded you, that it may be well with you. Yet they did not obey or incline the ear, but they followed the counsels and the dictates of their evil hearts. And they went backwards and not forwards. Since the day that your fathers came out of the land of Egypt till this day, I have even sent to you all my servants, the prophets, daily rising up early and sending them. Yet they did not obey me or incline their ear, but they stiffened their neck. They did verse than their fathers. Therefore you shall speak all these words to them, but they will not obey you. You shall also call to them, but they will not answer you. So you shall say to them, this is a nation that does not obey the voice of Yahovah, their Elohim. This is a nation that does not obey the voice of the Lord, their God, nor receive correction. Truth has perished and has been cut off from their mouth. Cut off your hair and cast it away, and take up a lamentation on the desolate heights. For the Lord Yahovah has rejected and forsaken the generation of his wrath. The children of Yahudah have done vile in my sight, says Yahovah. 
they have set their abominations in the house which is called by my name to pollute it. And they have built the high places of Tophet, which is in the valley of the son of Hinnom, to burn their sons and their daughters in the fire, which I did not command, nor did it come into my heart. Therefore, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord Yahovah, when it will no more be called Tophet or the valley of the son of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. For they will bury in Tophet until there is no room. The corpses of this people will be food for the birds of the sky and for the beasts of the earth. And nobody will frighten them away. Then I will cause to cease from the cities of Judah and from the streets of Jerusalem the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. For this earth shall be desolate. And that's the reality of things, friends. Everyone not in the Lord Jesus Christ will be completely destroyed. All there is on this planet is the Lord Jesus Christ and his wife. Everyone else will be lost. Oh, but we're Christians. We serve the Lord. Oh, yes, we believe in the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, men could be women and women could be men. Oh, well, you know. Oh, well, he likes his drink. Oh, well, we don't read the Bible anymore. No, we don't believe the Lord Jesus Christ is everything he is. Oh, no. Oh, the time comes, friends. The day hastens. Where will you stand, friends? Where will you stand on that great day? Yahavar is gracious. Yahavar is faithful. Yahavar is merciful. Call upon him today. Receive his salvation, friends. Be delivered through the Son of God. Stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say, hear the word of the Lord, all you of Judah, who enter in at these gates to worship the Lord. So that's all mankind. You see, the call is to all mankind. And of course, Yirimiah is a type of the Son of God, you see. So this is the word that came to Jeremiah from Yehovah, saying, stand in the gate of the Lord's house. Well, the gate is the Son of God, the gate is Christ, the word, the door, you see, uh, good sheep herd, the gate, the gate of the Father, you see, the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Hear the word of the Lord, all you of Yahudah, who enter in at these gates to worship Yahovah. Thus saith the Lord of armies, the God of Israel, amend your ways and your doings, and I will cause you to dwell in this place. Do not trust in these lying words, saying the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. For if you thoroughly amend your ways and your doings, if you thoroughly execute judgment between a man and his neighbor, if you do not oppress the stranger, 
the fatherless and the widow and do not shed innocent blood in this place or walk after other gods to your hurt. Then I will cause you to dwell in this place, in the land that I gave to your fathers forever and ever. So there's quite a bit. Um, there's, there's a proclamation of the Lord Jesus Christ proclaiming the word of God in the gate of the Lord. There's the proclamation of the word of God, amend your ways and your doings, repent, turn from your wickedry, and I'll cause you to live in this place. What place? Well, in Christ Jesus, the gate of the Lord, the door of the sheep. It is written, uh, in me all things live, move, and have their being. Everyone lives and moves and has their being in Elohim Yahweh. The great King David, speaking by the Spirit of Christ, said, Not a hand or a foot moves in all of the earth without me. Well, Jeremiah is commanded to stand in the gate of the house of the Lord, saying, Listen to the word of the Lord. Listen to the scriptures, the testimony, the truth. Listen to the revelation of Elohim Yahweh. Amend your ways and your doings, repent, turn, and I'll cause you to dwell as establishment, you see. Do not trust in these lying words. What are the lying words? Oh, take the knowledge of evil. You'll live forever. You know, God's holding out on you. Um, there's something in this uh, knowledge of evil that's just what you need. And then you'll know everything uh, and everything will be fine. There won't be any consequences. Take the knowledge of evil. Scripture doesn't say, friends, about the uh, a great deal about the fruit of the knowledge of good and evil, but one has to wonder <clears throat> whether part of, of taking that fruit of knowledge and evil involved drunkenness, sexual immorality, um, very likely, um, sexual perversions. Uh, I was talking to a friend yesterday that's felt terrible since they attended one of these pride events. Uh, well, a friend stroke acquaintance on Saturday, it now being Tuesday. And since they attended this horrendous event, um, they've been quite ill, you know. And they were on the phone yesterday, oh, I can't get out of it. I'm really ill, I'm really ill. Well, friends, if you approve wickedness, friends, if you condone wickedness, never condone wickedness, listeners. Don't do it. If you don't have the courage to speak up, just keep quiet, but do not condone it. You know, do not do it. Wickedness is wickedness. For a man to lie with a man is an abomination in God's sight. An abomination. For a man to pretend to be a woman or a woman to pretend to be a man is an abomination. All there is on this planet is men and women. That is it. Men and women. Now, don't commend wickedness, friends. Yeah. So it's very, verse four is very interesting. Do not trust in these lying words that say the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord are these. Very interesting. So it's almost like a warning to professing believers that they must practically turn from all wickedness and don't be deceived by men that say, oh, this is Christianity. This is the right thing to do. God doesn't mind you doing this, being self-centered and materialistic and vain uh, and immoral. Oh, it's okay. Well, God does mind. All unrighteousness is sin, you see. So all men and all women must thoroughly amend your ways and doings, you see. Do not oppress the stranger. What does that mean? Well, it means any human you come across, do not oppress them. The fatherless, do not oppress them. I would say that also speaks of unsaved men and women. Don't oppress them. Try and help them. The widow... Well, that would speak of all mankind that was cast away at the dawn of time. That woman, you see, she became a widow, uh, which means she had to do with the devil, you see. 
Um, yes, she remained to be Adam's wife, but she'd entered into parlance and dalliance. She'd entered into allegiance with doomed, deluded, ruined devils, you see. So she became uh, a widow in one respect and an adulteress. Do not shed innocent blood. Abortion is murder. To tear apart an unborn child in a woman's womb is murder. Everyone that's ever had part in that is culpable in murder. Oh, yes. Walk after other gods. There's only one God, and that's Elohim Yahovah, the king of the whole planet. This earth only has one Lord and one king. It's not humans. It's not devils. Elohim Yahweh is the king of the whole planet. All flesh is subject. All mortals are truly, truly, truly as grasshoppers. And all nations, Britain, America, Russia, China, Korea, Vietnam, Cambodia, Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, Germany, France, Denmark, Norway, Spain, Morocco, all these places, Ghana, South Africa, Ethiopia, Chile, Venezuela, all these places are as drops in the bucket. Elohim Yahovah rules the whole planet, friends. You are all creature possessions. Christ took captivity captive. That which was captive under the curse of sin and death, Christ has taken it captive. All things are subject. Now, so don't walk after other gods to your hurt. So don't obey the doomed, deluded demons, friends. If you do not shed innocent blood, do not oppress strangers, fatherless and widows, and walk after the devil, then you'll be established upon this planet forever and ever. Well, technically, this, uh, this planet will be actually destroyed in a thousand years, but the new planet wherein dwells righteousness, peace and joy eternal. You'll be established forever immortally with physical immortality on that planet, friends, but we first have a thousand years of global shalom in every place on this earth. This earth will be filled with glory. This earth will be filled with righteousness. Uh, this earth will be filled with loving kindness completely. And all the doomed, deluded demons will be chained and cast into the bottomless abyss for a thousand earth years. Yahovah will find out all of his enemies. My right hand will find all my enemies. The wicked doth he destroy every morning from off the earth. Elohim Yahavah rules sovereignly over all things, friends. Yahavah rules, Yahavah reigns. Now, behold, you trust in lying words that cannot profit. Will you steal, murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, burn incense to Baal and walk after other gods whom you do not know? And then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say we are delivered to do all these abominations. Where is true Christianity? Where are true disciples? Where are they? It's the last days, friends. First Timothy 4. The Spirit speaks expressly in latter days, men shall apostatize from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits, teachings of demons. Their minds cauterized as to sin, forbidding to marry, commanding to abstain from meats, which God has created to be received with thanksgiving. 
Read it yourself, friends. First Timothy chapter four. These are the last days. Um, I, Yehovah, myself will lead and guide and teach men. You'll hear a voice behind you saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. Do not turn to the left hand or to the right hand. These are verily, verily, verily the last days, friends. The next great event on this planet, friends, is not a new car or a new holiday or a new uh, relationship or a new materialistic possession. The next great event on this planet is a global physical resurrection of hundreds of millions of human beings that will immediately be clothed with immortality, physical immortality. That is the next great event on this planet. No. Mortals trust in lying words that cannot profit, you see. Mortals are uh, exceptionally deluded and bedeviled generally. Will you steal, murder, commit adultery, swear falsely, burn incense to Baal, walk after the gods, and then come and stand before the Lord in his house and say, we're delivered to do all this. We can do all these things. Well, a lot of men say such things today. You can go to gatherings of men, say, oh, God doesn't mind us sodomizing other men. Oh, no, that's all right. God doesn't mind. No, it's the height of wickedness, friends. Oh, but we have our little gathering and we all believe that it's irrelevant what men believe about righteousness. Righteousness is who Christ is. God is righteousness. God is truth. God is justice. God is light and God is love. But God is holy, 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 friends. The Lord God Almighty reigns over all. Oh, but we meet together and we believe this and we believe that. It doesn't matter. Elohim, Yehovah, is a great judge of all flesh. One judge, one lawgiver, one king, one sovereign. All flesh is creature possession, friends. Christ is king of nations, king of ages, and king of saints. The Melech HaKodeshim. And then you have their friends in the 7-Eleven. Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of thieves? And of course, uh, 500 years after this, you have the Lord Jesus Christ making a whip and casting over the money changers' tables in the house of his father. Um, and here is the verse written in the Old Testament, Jeremiah 7-11. Has this house, which is called by my name, become a den of thieves in your eyes? Behold, I, I, even I have seen it, says Yahweh. Well, that's the condition of mortals, you see, robbing God of glory. Uh, thieves and wretches and poor deluded fools. Uh, robbing Elohim, Yahweh, of glory and honor and thanksgiving. But Elohim, Yahweh, is the God of glory. The Elohim, Hakavod. The Adonai, Hakavod. And the Melech. Hakavod, the king of glory. Melech Hakavod, the king of glory. But go now to my place, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people, Yashirel. And now, because you've done all these works, says Yahavah, and I spoke to you rising up early and speaking, but you did not hear, and I called you, but you did not answer. Wow, but go now to my place, which was in Shiloh, where I set my name at the first, and see what I did to it because of the wickedness of my people, Yashirel. Mortals of the present generation do not understand the power, the kingdom, the glory, the honor, and the sovereignty of Elohim, Yehovah. Yet all flesh will bow to the Son of God. Every human being that has ever walked this planet will bow to the Son of God and will honour and obey and worship the Son of God. Yahweh has sworn it and promised it that unto me shall every knee bow and every tongue confess that I am the Lord.
So Elohim Yahweh says, go to that place where I set my name and have a look what happened to it. It was completely destroyed. This earth is full of ruined kingdoms and ruined cities where God punished and destroyed men. This present generation thinks, oh, well, we'll be okay. Oh, yes, we'll, we'll be okay. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm sure it'll be okay. Oh, unless you repent, you will perish. Suddenly will the wrath of Jehovah Elohim be revealed, friends. The time is near. I tell you the truth. The cup of wrath is ready to be poured out upon this nation. The wrath of Elohim Yapovar is ready to be poured out upon this nation suddenly. Suddenly. Go and read Mark chapter 1, friends. 11 or 12 times the word suddenly in Mark chapter 1. Straight away. Immediately. Go to those places, friends. Have a look at the ruined kingdoms and ruined cities where Elohim Yahweh are destroyed because of the wickedness of men. Behold, I spoke to you early, rising early and speaking, but you did not hear. And I called you, but you did not answer. I called you and you did not answer. I spoke, but you did not hear. You didn't answer when I called you. So for that reason, I'm going to do to the house which is called by my name in which you trust and to this place which I gave to you and your fathers as I have done to Shiloh and I will cast you out of my sight as I have cast out all of your brethren, the whole posterity of Ephraim. Therefore, don't pray for this peoples don't lift up a cry or a prayer for them. Don't make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. What a thing, friends. Oh, well, Christianity, oh, well, God is merciful. God is good. Everything will be all right. Oh, don't pray for this people. Don't lift up a cry or a prayer for them. Don't make intercession to me, for I will not hear you. Prepare to meet your God. The day is near. The wrath of God is soon to be poured out, friends. The time of the great tribulation. The time of the rapture, the marriage supper. The time of a thousand years of global peace and sovereign dominical rule over all nations and all flesh. Elohim Yehovah rules and owns all flesh, all families, all mortals. All creatures are simply precious creature possessions in the house of Elohim Yehovah. And let me tell you something. Elohim Yehovah keeps house very, very well. Go and have a look, friends, at the other writings of Timothy in a great house of vessels of gold and silver and wood and earth. Friends, today, stay in the scripture, stay in prayer, stay under the blood, walk in the truth, lest you perish in the way. Honor, serve, and obey. The Elohim Yahweh has his sovereign sway. This day, even this day. Well, friends, we'll be back soon with another broadcast. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay strong. Uh, Adonai, Yahovah, Elohim, the Rivon, Ha, Olamim. Um, stay in the scriptures, friends. We'll be back soon. Shalom, shalom.